ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲೈಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ನ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಪ್ರಯೋಗಾಲಯ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಭಾಗದ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಸೈನ್ಶಿಯಾ ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಎಂಬ ಹದಿಮೂರನೇ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಸಮ್ಮೇಳನವು ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ದಶಮಾನೋತ್ಸವದ ಸ್ಮಾರಕ ಭವನದಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯಿತು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ್ದ ಕೇರಳ ತಿರುವಲ್ಲಾದ ಬಿಲಿವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಚರ್ಚ್ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ಬಯೋಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರಾದ ಡಾ ಕಣ್ಣನ್ ವೈದ್ಯನಾಥನ್ ಅವರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ದೀಪ ಬೆಳಗಿಸಿ ಉದ್ಘಾಟಿಸಿದರು ಬಳಿಕ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದ ಅವರು ಪರಿಶ್ರಮದ ಮಹತ್ವ ಮತ್ತು ಮಹತ್ವಾಕಾಂಕ್ಷೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಸಾವಧಾನತೆಯ ನಡುವೆ ಸಮತೋಲನವನ್ನು ಕಾಯ್ದುಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಮಹತ್ವವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು some of you might be members or have attended the conferences of ACI. This is the 50th year of its existence. So, we are celebrating many golden degree programs across the country, including the national, finally terminating at the national conference, which will come in Chandigarh in December, PTA Chandigarh. So, it's a very special year for biochemistry in India, because ACDI is the parent organization of biochemistry in India. So it's a very special year for all of us associated with ACDA. And also it is special because I just want to inform you, not only that uh, this national conference, we are also having two international conferences coming in India in the next couple of years, being hosted by ACDA. So one is the IFCC conference. Again, I am lucky enough to be a member of the IFCC. We have the IFCC conference coming up in Delhi in 2026, that probably is in October of 2026. So if some of you happen to be able to come to Delhi around that time, you can attend because it's an opportunity also to meet many of the dignified international faculty. That's why I'm giving you this information. And also next year, 2025, we'll have another international conference called WASPA. And I wanted to tell that in first, uh, but then I made it second. Now, WASPAM is the association of laboratory medicine and pathologists. No? So, all uh, technologists can also attend. That will be coming up in Mumbai. So, probably that will be, the date is not confirmed. Probably it will also be in September of 2025 or something. So, uh, so two conferences, both of them are go going to be associated um, organized by under the auspices of ACBA as well. So it's a very important and of course a little bit hectic years also coming up for the association. Um, yesterday when I was traveling uh, obviously when you come you want to give a message to you. So I was wondering like what kind of a message should I give to you? You are all youngsters here budding uh, technologies of tomorrow. Probably I met a couple of uh, you during the yesterday and today. Many of you might be wanting to do PhD and probably some of you might want to go abroad, work or do research, etc. So I was wondering what kind of a message. It's going to be a diverse crowd and of course there will be some who know Malayalam who are from Kerala and others who are not from Kerala. So of course because of that I had to use English as the language. So I was wondering what kind of a message should I give to you, uh, just maybe in a couple of minutes. It's like any, any level of your life you will get opportunities. Let it be the, my level or even more senior level. There will be opportunities for your institution, at your personal, for your personal ambition, or even as students like this to present, maybe not international, maybe national conferences. But Sometimes something can happen that challenges can come. So what is the, uh, what should we do under these circumstances of course. This story is different, this is question of finances. Now why I was unable to generate finances is a different story. That's maybe some other time we can discuss personally. Uh, but then sometimes when even if everything seems to work well, something can happen that can uh, dampen your spirits. But the important message, what I gave him and what I need to give to you also that keep trying. Plus, sometimes if you keep trying, you might come across something which will 
change your life. So it's not that one only one opportunity will be there in your life. Sometimes something can happen that you get an opportunity and you are unable to convert that opportunity. Maybe some family reasons or some other reasons. You might not be able to achieve what you hope for on the first time, even when you got an opportunity. But then don't stop that. Keep trying because Ultimately, success comes only to those who keep trying. Opportunities, it's not like just one time. You can, if you keep trying, you can get opportunities multiple times and maybe one other time you'll get success. So, of course, for some, it might click at the first instance itself. But for some others, maybe it will take some more time. So, keep trying. Whatever you are doing, whatever your ambitions are, don't just lose heart. That's a ultimate message what I want to give to you today. So keep trying, keep focus, keep, keep being focused on your work. Of course, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do other work, other enjoyment, etc. Of course, that should go on. But then your primary focus should always be there when you are going back to sleep. Before you sleep, you should meditate on what your focus was, how much closer to your original focus you came on, how much ahead you went from your original focus that should you should meditate on that every day or at least once in a while before you retire for the day. Samsthiya Nirdeshukarada Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Koyillo Karakramada Adhikshita Vaisi Matanadi Aarogya Kshetra Dalli Manavas Parsha Samvahana Mattu Sahanu Bhutiyu Barisalagada Patravannu Tilisi Yeshasu Kevala Sathani Kalala Badalagi Samajaki Nidua Arthapurna Koduki Kalu Yendro Those who work hard work they will get really the benefit. Why I said this is now medical laboratory technology. So laboratory is driven by technology and we have also automation in our laboratory. Human resource is replaced by machines, technology and therefore number of people needed in the laboratory are today not as before. Therefore some have the fear that we may not get an opportunity or a job opportunity will not be there and so on. But if you seriously think there are job opportunities, whatever may be the technology, human resource or manpower cannot be replaced today. Even patients have become like machines because they want everything at the very instant. That is, at the press of the button, the doctor should be there. The press of the button, I have given the sample now, they get impatient to receive the report and uh, they do not know uh, that they have, there is a certain amount of time to wait. It has to be processed and the result has to be uh, recorded and it has to be certified by the pathologist or the concerned person. Then, is our role, mainly, maybe as a technologist or those who are drawing blood in the sample area, that we have to, not to become machines, but we have to become more and more humane. We have to talk to the patients, we have to tell them what we are going to do, maybe the drawing of the blood or whatever the procedure, we have to talk, communicate, and the soft skills are very, very important. And whatever may be the technology, machines, but human person cannot be replaced by the machine at all. We have to still remain human and humanity continues. That should be our concern. Secondly, as I told you about the job, there are a lot of opportunities. You can work in the laboratory, you can have your own laboratory, and you can go for teaching as well as research. There is a lot of opportunities for research and therefore there will not be a dirt for you to get a job. It will not be a difficult thing. Therefore, you should be able to tell others uh, what we have learned and how this course is very important and how the job opportunities can come. Maybe the challenges are there you students should inform other, you are juniors, uh, those who are in the colleges, so that they also can come forward uh, to take up this course and uh, do a lot of research and uh, also 
help uh, in the patient care, uh, he can become the collaborator. The hospital laboratory of Padamala uh, Medical College Hospital, the, this department has taken many steps to give or to conduct this conference today. People have come together, they have thought together, including one um, uh, souvenir and uh, talks are arranged, I am sure. Last two days were very, very informative and the participation in the quiz also. Many of the students come to participate in the quiz. The quiz also is very important. It sharpens your brain, uh, your knowledge gets brushed up and uh, you become smart and quick in answering and that also is needed. ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ತೃತೀಯ ವರ್ಷದ ಬಿಎಸ್ಸಿ ಎಂಎಲ್ಟಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನಿ ಸಿಯೋನ ವಿನ್ಯಾಸಗೊಳಿಸಿದ ಮತ್ತು ರೋಗಶಾಸ್ತ್ರದ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಅವರಿಂದ ಸಂಕಲನಗೊಂಡ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಸಂಚಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ಅನಾವರಣಗೊಳಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ರೆವರೆಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಜಿತ್ ಮಿನೇಜಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಜಾರ್ಜ್ ಜೀವನ್ ಸಿಕ್ವೆರಾ ಸಹಾಯಕ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ರೆವರೆಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ನೆಲ್ಸನ್ ಧೀರಜ್ ಪೈಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಡೀನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಂಟನಿ ಸಿಲ್ವನ್ ಡಿಸೋಜಾ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲೈಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ನ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಲ್ಡಾ ಡಿಸೋಜಾ ಸಂಘಟನಾ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಿಶಾ ಜೆ ಮಾರ್ಲಾ ಸಂಘಟನಾ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿ ಜಾನಿ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ದರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಬಿಎಸ್ಸಿ ಎಂಎಲ್ಟಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನಿ ಜೆಸಿಕಾ ಸೆರಾವೊ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವರ್ಷದ ಜೆಫಿ ಸಾರಾ ಶಾಬು ಅವರು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿದರು ಸಂಘಟನಾ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿ ಕ್ಲಾಟಿಯಾ ಚಾನಿ ಅವರು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸಮರ್ಪಿಸಿದರು ಶರತ್ಸಾಲ್ಯನ್ ವಿ ಫ